All right, let's go ahead and simplify this thing. Uh, we'll see if we can, if and what we can simplify. Uh, but first, since we're adding these two rational expressions, we need to find common denominators. So finding those common denominators will require uh, factoring out uh, this first denominator, which is x squared minus 4x minus 32. I need two factors of negative 32 that would add up to negative 4. So I'm going to use negative 8 and 4. If I add them, I get that negative 4. When I multiply them, I get the negative 32, which is what I want. So that's going to break that up into x minus 8 and also x plus 4. Now I still have that 6x minus 1 and the reason I put that in black is because it can't change. Uh, in other words, I can't factor anything out from that except for 1. Uh, and it's going to work the same way with the other numerator. I've got that x minus 12. So I'm just going to see what I can do about that x squared minus 16, which is a difference of two perfect squares, meaning that I can change this now into x minus 4 and x plus 4. Of course, if I multiply these two together, I should get that x squared minus 16. All right, so this is what I have now. And uh, we can see that uh, both of these denominators have an x plus 4. But uh, this one has an x minus 8, and this one doesn't. So I need to include that in this denominator, which means I need to multiply the numerator by it as well. And all, not only that, but this denominator has x minus 4. This one does not. So I need to multiply this 6x minus 1 also by x minus 4. Now I have two common denominators, which, was, which is going to allow me to add these two numerators. All right, so this is what I have now. And I can't start adding things until I have uh, two full binomials or, or two non-factored expressions that are being added to each other. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute a 6x and this negative 1. And then I'll do the same thing with this other set right here with uh, some people like the foil method whatever you want to call it uh, this will be fine so this is what I have now after using the foil method on those uh, two quantities there and from here what I'm gonna do is combine like terms so let's look at our x squared we got it 6x squared and then plus this x squared and we'll give a 7x squared Next up, I'll combine my x's, so I got a negative 24x minus 1x minus 8x minus 12x, which would give us a negative 45x. Then I've got this plus 4 and plus 96, which makes that a plus 100. So this numerator now that I'm going to be looking to factor, which I don't know if I can or not yet, but uh, I'm just going to focus on that part and see what we can do to factor it out. So let's go and rewrite that on the side. So I've got that 7x squared minus 45x plus 100. What I need to do is take my a value and multiply it by the c value, which would be 700. I just need to see if there's two factors of 700 that would add up to a negative 45. So we may have to include some negatives on this. But let's just look. I, I know 7 and 10, uh, sorry, 7 and 100 would work. 70 and 10 would work, uh, but none of these are going to add up anywhere close to 45. So what about uh, 35 and um, 20? Well, that gets us pretty close. So let's try another mix here. There's 50 and 14. Uh, again, we're still pretty close. All right, so looking at all the factors that I could find on this of 700, none of these are ever going to add up to negative 45, even if you make them negative. I mean, the closest we could get was 25 and 28. If these were both negative, it'd give us a negative 40, I'm sorry, 53. So uh, since that's the case, this is actually as simplified as this expression will get.